Hello, everybody, and welcome to WDW Radio Live. I am Lou Mangello, and this is the WDW Newscast for Wednesday, September 4th, 2013. I'm here to help you have the best possible Disney vacation experience, bring you a little bit of Disney magic to wherever you are with this live video broadcast every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, as well as my audio podcast, my new Disney animated videos, blog, live events, my Walt Disney World trivia books, CDs, and more. You can find everything over at www.radio.com. And tonight's podcast is once again brought to you by our friends over at audible.com, where you can still, believe it or not, you can still get a free audiobook download with more than 100,000 titles to choose from, a ton of Disney books, How to Be Like Walt, Kingdom Keepers, so much more. Again, if you go to audibletrial.com slash radio, you can sign up there, download your book. You can cancel right away, right? There's no uh, time limit. You can cancel right away. You still get to keep and try your audiobook. Again, you can download it for your MP3 player, your Kindle, your Android, and your iPhone device. Check it out over again, audibletrial.com slash radio. So I am, uh, I am excited for tonight's show, some fun news to talk about. We're getting to my, uh, my favorite time of the year, right? Can you believe that? It's September 4th. Summer has come and gone, right? How, who can believe it? And the end of summer can only mean one thing. I need to stop wearing white pants. And two, obviously it's fall. Food and wine is coming. And again, one of my favorite times of year at Walt Disney World Halloween and Mickey's not so scary Halloween party is returning once again on September 10th, less than a week away with 23 nights of Halloween fun from September 1st through November 1st. I'm sorry, September 10th through November 1st. It is an after hour hard tickets and it's not included with admission, a hard ticket special event immersing you in all things Halloween. There's the happy Halloween fireworks spectacular, my favorite parade, the boo to you Halloween parade, the Headless Horseman and the Grave Diggers in the Haunted Mansion are worth the price of admission. New this year, right? Some new additions this year. Jack Skellington and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas and Monstrous Ink Scares, Mike and Sully, are going to host their own Monstrous scream a Ball. Again, it runs from 7 p.m. to midnight. You can come in costume. Adults can't cover your face. And you can trick-or-treat around the Magic Kingdom. Again, a wide variety of dates. September, October through November 1st, and then things quickly switch over to Christmas. If you're going to plan on going for Halloween, tickets do go fast around the Halloween time. To purchase your tickets in advance, you can visit DisneyWorld.com slash Halloween or call 407-WDW-Disney. And when you go to the parks, especially if you haven't been there in the last few months, you might notice something different, something new. More importantly, something is missing. A, a fixture from the 1970s it's almost gone, and it's the turnstiles. Because with My Magic Plus rolling out throughout the Walt Disney World Resort, the turnstiles are being summarily removed from all of the theme parks. It started over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The other ones are not far behind. What that means for you is that if you are a guest that has an older, now it's old, paper ticket, you've got to exchange it for an RFID-enabled pass over at Guest Relations so it's going to work with the new touch entry points. I do know they have some people scanning for the time being, but they do want to get all those tickets convert over to the My Magic Plus RFID tickets. It'll make everybody's life easier, yours and the cast members as well. All right, so as long as we're walking our way with our magic bands into the Magic Kingdom, something old is out, something new is coming in because the marquee was just installed over at, outside the Princess Fairytale Hall in Fantasyland, and we now have an opening date, from what I understand, of September 18th. We really didn't know for a long time when it was going to open other than the fall, and according to Imagineers, the attractions feature is going to have stone walls, stained glass windows, a huge gallery with vaulted ceilings, portraits of Disney princesses, and there you're going to be able to meet either Cinderella or Rapunzel, and each one of those is going to be joined by a fellow Disney princess. It's sort of like potluck. Um, so you can choose one of those two and sort of get a bonus princess on the side. Cinderella or Rapunzel and a princess to be named later again. September 18th, I'll be there on or around that time to cover the grand opening. Looking forward to seeing what is now taking the place from a beloved dark ride attraction, Snow White's Scary Adventures. A not-so-scary adventure is coming to the writer's stop at Disney's Hollywood Studios September 11th and downtown Disney on September 12th. Disney legend Marty Sklar is going to be down there signing copies of his new book, Dream It, Do It. I'm going to try and go and meet Marty, say hi, over at uh, the writer's stop September 11th. 
from 9.30 to 11 a.m. or from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the Downtown Disney Art of Disney Market in the uh, Marketplace on September 12th. So we've been talking about things to do in the parks. We know Wi-Fi has been rolled out everywhere. The My Disney Experience is tied in so very well to the My Magic Plus, and Disney really wants you to use your iPhone, your smartphone, not just at home, but inside the parks as well. And if you are taking pictures inside the parks and you are an Instagrammer, Walt Disney World is now officially on Instagram. You can add the hashtag Walt Disney World or tag at Walt Disney World to your pictures. And you never know, you might be featured on their Instagram feed, which I like, right? I like the fact that Walt Disney World is not just going to be taking pictures that they, their photographers are taking, but they want to share your photos as well, too. So it's nice to know that they're going to sort of embrace that sort of community aspect of what Instagram is. And I think people don't realize that Instagram is its own social network. And by sharing photos from the guests, right, I, I think it really gives you that sense of community. So I like the fact that they're going to be doing it. Again, they're at Walt Disney World on the Instagrams. All right, so it's, uh, it's September. It's Halloween. Next week is Friday the 13th, and what better way for Disney to celebrate than with a little bit of limited time magic, and they're going to have the bi-coastal limited time magic during the Villains event on Friday. Both Disneyland and Disney's Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World are going to stay open until the 13th hour, which is, of course, 1 a.m., and to celebrate this momentous evening, they're going to have villains like Maleficent, Captain Hook, Hades, uh, and they're all going to be part of this dance party. And at Disney's Hollywood Studios, it's going to be known as Hades Hangout, the hottest club north of the Underwood. I don't make the news. I just read it. The Lord of the Dead, Hades, is going to host some fun while there's dancers, an interactive DJ, and a house band. Think sort of mad tea party out at Disney California Adventure. Then there's going to also be uh, villain encounters and Hades hangouts for meet and greets and autographs with guests. The really cool thing about this, too, is uh, there's going to be a new fireworks show called Villainy in a Sky, right? So you're sort of sorcery in the sky. This is sort of the uh, kicking off the evening of villains. It's going to be Villainy in the Sky. Again, the party's going to go from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. on Friday, September 13th. It is not a hard ticketed event, so this is included with your admission. It is part of the limited time magic over at Disney Parks, 52 weeks of Random sort of magical experiences, right? Some big, some small, some are park-wide, some are, are special events, culinary events, special moments of surprises, things like this. And don't forget, too, if you're going to be out in Disneyland, they're going to do the same thing. Town Square is going to be transformed for the party there. Again, Captain Hook, he's going by coastal Queen of Hearts, just Frollo, I dig him. He's an evil dude, man. Lady Tremaine, Cobwebs and Vine, Halloween projections, lots more. Again, there'll be DJs. There'll be um, an Unleash the Villains dance party there as well, too. Again, open till 1 o'clock in the morning. For more information, you can visit limitedtimemagic.com. And if you are at any events, you'll be tweeting, Facebooking, Instagramming, Pinteresting. Pinteresting? You can use the hashtag limitedtimemagic. So the question I have for you, those of you who are live in the box, or if you're listening in iTunes or watching uh, via YouTube or the blog, what do you guys think about limited time magic? Right? Have you been to any of these limited time magic events? Have you heard of any that have drawn you to the parks? Especially if you're a local, have you heard of something that says, I need to go there to check this out? If not, are you aware when you go of the limited time magic events when you go? Right? Because they're, they're going on all the time. They're not always in all four parks. But have you ever gone to a park and been made aware of what that limited time magic event is going on, whether it's you know the the meet and greet with old characters, whatever it is. And do you like the concept? Do you like this sort of mystery about what may be coming next and only running for a short period of time, themed towards the different times of the year? Leave your answer in the comments below, or please come by and comment over at wdwradio.com. I have one last bit of Disney-related news tonight, uh, and that is to announce the winner of our WDW Radio. D23 Expo Trivia Contest. If you watched our live broadcast over all three days of the D23 Expo, we promised an opportunity for the people in the box, those of you who are watching, to win not just a cool prize from the Expo, 
but a Disney World or Disneyland vacations, just like one of the lucky people at the Expo did, thanks to our friends over at Mouse Fan Travel. And now we're going to do that, right? You're going to have a chance to win either a three-night Disneyland or Walt Disney World vacation. But what I'll do first, now, you know, I was going to read through the questions, but I won't, right? I'm not going to, we had a total of 10 questions. They're on the blog. We'll go through them again later on if you want to stay for the sort of post-show. But the winner of the three-night Walt Disney World or Disneyland vacation is from Florida, and his name is Colin Karn. So, Colin, first of all, thank you for paying such close attention over more than 30 hours over those three days during the expo. You got the questions right, and uh, and you are the winner of the trip. Again, that is courtesy of our friends over at MEI and Mouse Fan Travel. You can visit them over at mousefantravel.com. Listen, whether you come into Orlando, going to Anaheim, going to the magic, the wonder, the dream, the fantasy, Alani, anywhere that Disney goes, or anybody else for that matter, they can help get their help over at mousefantravel.com. And I need your help too, right? You want to help me, you want to help the show, there's a couple of things you can do, right? Come by, subscribe to the show over on iTunes, just search for WW Radio, rate and review the show as well. More importantly, please help spread the word. Tell your friends, your coworkers, even if you don't like them, you can tell them about the show anyway. Come spread the word about the show, the site, the videos, the blogs, the trivia books, so much more. Again, you can find everything over at www.radio.com. And as much as I love connecting with you guys on Twitter, I'm at Lou Mangiello, facebook.com slash www.radio. I hope to meet you at one of our live events in Walt Disney World or around the country. And if you missed tonight's show live, be sure and visit us next week at 7.30 p.m. Eastern over at www.radiolive.com. I am Lou Mangiello. Thanks so very much for watching. Have a great week, everybody. So until next time, see ya.